Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I do to set up a little workshop here uh, for the bicycle maintenance kind of procedures I do. Um, I need some basic tools and since I'm no longer working for a bike shop, uh, I thought this would be kind of a cool video to make. Maybe some of you guys right now are thinking, you know, you got some, you got some little maintenance items you wanna take care of and you don't really have a spot to do it. Um, maybe this will inspire you to, to build a spot. Uh, I just happened to come into this pegboard being here when we moved in. Um, so I'm gonna use it. It's uh, just the old white basic pegboard. So today I'm gonna paint it. And then uh, I ordered some hooks and things. And um, the cool thing that I got coming that, that you guys are gonna really like is uh, I got a whole package of tools, park tool tools coming from competitive cyclists. Uh, competitive cyclists actually stepped up and sponsored the video when uh, I reached out to him and said, hey, I need to build out my garage. So uh, that link's in the description below for a 15% off coupon code for you guys. If you wanna build anything out like you see in the video, use that code down below. Uh, I also got a work stand um, from them as well as I went ahead and ordered myself a power meter for my LA. I didn't have a power meter on the bike and I wanna show you guys power when I ride, you guys know that. So uh, I'm gonna install that power meter today after I get this built out. It might be a two-part video. I'm not sure yet, but that's what we're doing today. Okay, guys, like I said, this pegboard was already here. Uh, I was gonna do a solid piece of wood and do the screws in it like the shop that uh, I just came from, but because we have the pegboard, we're gonna use it. Uh, I don't like that it's the old white and it's kind of dirty, so I'm gonna paint it. Uh, I just went to Home Depot and I got a basic focus on that rust-oleum semi-gloss black uh, paint and I got my roller and stuff so I'm gonna throw a coat of black paint on this maybe two let's do that okay guys I painted it I'm sparing you from my terrible paint techniques uh, there are better videos to watch if you want to learn how to paint something than what I just did but I got it black so we're almost there we're almost ready to put our hooks in it we're actually still waiting on the hooks I'm, I'm waiting, Amazon driver is nine stops away. But while we're waiting, we're gonna go over some fun stuff now. The big order, uh, the competitive cyclist order. We're gonna open it, we're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Let's do it. Altegra 175, Altegra R8000 175 stages power meter. Focus, yeah. Um, these are, Super inexpensive. I want to say at the time of this video, uh, it's March 11th, I believe. These were 385 on the site. And if you use that discount code, uh, use the code down below, uh, you get a nice 15% off a power meter, which uh, your first order, which you might as well rack it up, man, if you're going to use that discount code, right? All right, so power meter. Oh, this is... Probably my, my favorite tool that I have ordered in this, besides the power meter, which is a tool. This is Park Tools, uh, the INF-2. It's a shop inflator, compressor um, inflator. It'll, it'll allow you to see the pressure. We use it at the shop like every day. Or maybe. Um, and I'm gonna go tubeless on my road bike at some point, and Cass's bike is tubeless. I'm gonna show you guys that, her mountain bike's tubeless, so eventually we'll be there, but this thing's cool. Let's, uh, I wanna show you guys all the bits, but let me show you this tool. If you guys have a compressor at home and you're rocking tubeless, or you just want the ability to just use your compressor without blowing your wheel off, or your tire off your wheel, this bad boy right here, is pretty, pretty cool. You can see that. So it allows you to throttle how much air you let into the tire, right? And it shows you when you release that, how this, how the, uh, shows you, when you release this, it shows you how much air is in your tire and you can add some as needed. It has an adapter for both Presta and Schrader valves as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'll, I'll do a video on this specifically if you guys wanna see more on this and how to use it. Uh, yeah, but Park Tool, 
INF-2. Pretty cool. This one's a newer version than the one we have at work. It's got a little hook back here too. And uh, I'll show you guys a little compressor I bought uh, that's gonna work nicely with this. So, pretty excited about that piece. Let's keep going. We've got invoices. Okay. Aha, chain checker tool. Standard chain checker tool just to keep track of chain stretch. Very important tool here, bottle opener uh, for an adult beverage. Gotta have that. All right, this is one of the most used tools in the shop here, this little three-way. It is a four, five, and six millimeter park tool, AWS-1. If anybody has any questions on these, I can get into this deeper um, on each on an individual tool you guys have questions on, but I'm gonna go through this pretty quick because this video is more about kind of getting the stuff hung up here. We got a hammer. Again, this is all park tool stuff. I like the quality of park tool. Uh, I think that looks good, high quality stuff. And Competitive Cyclist has just fantastic uh, prices on this stuff. Um, and yeah, hammer. We got some scissors. Pliers, needle nose, a uh, quick link tool. You guys gotta pop a chain off to clean it. Uh, another three way, but this one is Torx. Uh, this is a Shimano crank tool, uh, and I'm gonna actually use this today because I'm gonna put the power meter on, but this is a nicer tool than what comes with the Shimano uh, kit to install. Uh, a crank, uh, side cutters, park tool as well. These will look good hanging on the wall. Then we have the little set here of screwdrivers, Phillips standards. Now, no, 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 what do we got? Oh, valve core removal tool, we're gonna need that because we're gonna do some tubeless stuff. Uh, refreshing stands, stuff like that. What is this? Oh man, this is, uh, let's get this. This is the Allen set that hangs and it's got all the T-handle, all the T-handle Allens. Hopefully that's focusing. You can barely see that. But this is gonna be cool. This is gonna look really neat on the wall here. I'm super excited. So this guy is gonna mount on our pegboard somehow and then he's gonna accept all of the what size we got here. This is a five. So this guy's gonna go in here like this. Boom, and it's gonna sit on the wall, and I'll show you guys that in a second. Pretty cool there. And it has holes to put your to put your three-way in like that. So I'll show you guys that in a second. Sweet. And last but certainly not least, in fact, probably arguably the most important part of your cycling tool kit is your torque wrench, all right? It is the most important piece. Don't skimp on this. This is the 5.2. Um, this one has the low range. It'll go from two to 14 Newton meters. There's a six. That one's too high range, all right? So when you're on competitive cyclists, it's the 5.2 if you wanted to add this to your cart. Take a look at this bad boy. Literature, we don't need instructions. Stop, don't. Don't exceed 14, we don't need that either. Oh my God, it didn't come with bits. Oh no, does it? Nope, it doesn't. Gonna need to buy some bits. I think I have some already, but look at this tool. This is a nice piece here. So, you get not only Make sure that it's in focus. Not only down here do you get um, your Newton meters in decimals, but up here you get it in your standard like one through whatever. So it's sitting right now at zero. Let's crank some into it. How do you do it? Do you pull it apart? Should I have read the instructions? 
Well, you push it in and turn it, okay. So in order, I was trying to pull it out. You push it in and then you rotate it. And that's gonna show you right there, inside. So we're adding, adding torque, adding torque. Like I know the Shimano system is 13, so that's 13 Newton meters right there when that zero is lined up. But if you wanted like say 12, you know, point something, you could get it. This thing's that accurate. Pretty cool, it's ratcheting. And um, one thing to mention on the torque wrenches is just because it'll unthread doesn't mean this is meant to, to be used to um, loosen something. This is for, this is actually for a left hand thread uh, bolt if you're tightening that up. Uh, cool, very cool. All right, let's get this stuff on our freshly painted pegboard. Okay guys, the third piece of the puzzle just arrived for what I'm doing here. So we painted it black, we got our order from Competitive Cyclist. I'm pretty stoked. Uh, I thought that there would be more to it, but we'll, we'll do something, we'll figure something out. I thought it would be bigger. Basically, this pegboard is way too big. Ah, but the, the third part has arrived. So these, um, I got off Amazon. Uh, they're plastic, I thought they were gonna be metal. There's a hundred of each of them in each bag, and I got a variety. I got one of each of these. Let me see if I get the camera to focus in on this for you. So I got this style here, right? And then I got this style here. It's like a little L. And I don't know what's gonna work the best. I just got them both. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below if you guys uh, want these, just so you don't have to go searching for them. Uh, all right, let's start playing around with this here. Okay guys, so I've already hung up one of the hooks there so you can see what that looks like. Uh, the paint's kind of still soft doing this all in one day. And there's the other style hook. So now let's see, let's learn together here how this is gonna go. I don't, I mean, I see, I think I need these already. So here's what I'm thinking. So we do something like that. And like that. I mean, that works pretty well. I wish they weren't plastic. But I'm pretty happy with that. It's not going anywhere. You know, it's not falling off. So there's that. Now let's try, let's try the other one right here. Oh yeah, this will be an easy one. This is a, it's an easy one. Here, and then there. So it looks pretty good. Like the, the blue on the black looks pretty good. It pops. So now what we gotta do is spend some time and figure out kind of how we're gonna configure the layout of this. One thing I didn't, uh, I didn't order, I need to order something. I need a caddy for the screwdrivers. That's it, and the only other thing besides the caddy for the screwdrivers, would be how to hang this guy right here. You know, um, I don't think I wanna just set it on pegs. I think I want to actually, I think I wanna screw it to the wall though, because when you take tools in and out of this, it needs to feel maybe a little more solid than that. I don't know, let's try a tool. So there's that answer. Uh, we're gonna need to bolt it to the wall. <laughs> but that's a quality of park tool. The thing's still in great shape and obviously the wrenches are fine. Um, okay, we're gonna bolt it to the wall. We're gonna work on layout now. I'm gonna give you guys a little a bigger spread here and I'll show you guys kind of laying it out, what it looks like.
I know someone's gonna ask, so let's measure it. I'm guessing it's, yep, six, uh, six and a half feet. by four foot. So standard like sheet of plywood, similar to that. Um, and a lot of the stuff, like I would drill this into the wall. This is on those plastic hooks and it's pretty secure. Like you can take things in and out. Um, but I would, if I wasn't on pegboard, I would drill this slate. What I would do differently is this guys, if you're going to build one of these at home, I would get a, a regular sheet of plywood. I would hard mount it to some studs. Um, do like yourself like a one inch piece of plywood so you have something to mount and then I would start hard drilling uh, Stuff in I wouldn't use the plastic hooks I'm doing it just because I had the pegboard here and it was just super easy for me to do so it's gonna work out It's nice. I can you know, I can grab something I can put it right back now um, Before you ask yes, my my I, I want to build a workbench right here of some kind maybe something like a foot wide that sticks out uh, maybe I do that in a different video, but for now, this is what I have. We'll build the workbench at some point. Um, I also think it was worth noting too, I wanted to note when I was opening this stuff up that uh, this stuff came extremely fast from Competitive Cyclist. I ordered it, uh, two day shipping was free from UPS. It got packaged the same day and shipped out the next day and it was here in two days. There was no waiting, which in this day and age you really can't, right? So uh, pretty cool how how nice it uh, came. This little guy, this little caddy is pretty cool. I put the little um, park tool, uh, valve core remover tool in here and you can put your two like three ways in there. Pretty cool. Uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, tire inflator, we might do a video on that separately. Torque wrench, don't forget your bits. I have some already, um, but I'm gonna leave this up here. I have another torque wrench for like automotive stuff, but uh, it's just nice to keep this um, separate and, and ready to go for just cycling stuff. So this will be the area I do just cycling, um, related mechanic work, um, not car related stuff. Okay guys, that's it for the video. Uh, I want to say thank you to competitive cyclists. Don't forget, use the link down below. If you want to build something like this for yourself, um, or if you need any other cool products, they're the place to get them. They really are. Um, I, I everything I have, you can buy there. Um, so go check them out. Uh, also guys, stay tuned. We're going to do the install video on the stages power meter. That'll probably be the next video you see. I'm probably going to cut it into two parts. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but I'm excited to ride in Tucson. So stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button. If you liked what I did here today, if you thought this was helpful at all, um, I appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below what you would have done differently. And, uh, if you guys like park tool and if you guys like my cool little piece of art I have here, thanks so much guys. We'll talk to you next time.